guys and welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. We are starting this video off as usual. We're going to get a cup of coffee, but we're getting there a little bit differently. We're in the back of a tuk-tuk, which is something that you're going to see everywhere in Thailand. It's not too expensive. It's a fun little way to get around. And we figured we'd kick our day off this way. So let's go get some coffee. Thanks, couple cup. Now we are going to a place that you will see literally everywhere in Thailand, not just in Bangkok. And we like the coffee there, so uh, don't judge us too much. There are a lot of great coffee shops here in Bangkok, including La Cabra. I don't know if y'all remember our vlog from Aarhus, but if you even follow our channel, you know that we went to Aarhus, Denmark last fall and fell in love with a coffee shop there called La Cabra. There's actually one here also in Bangkok, which is really cool, and we had a cup of coffee there with our friends Alan and Brandy from If We Go To last week. Had a blast, but we're going to do something a little bit more convenient at 7-Eleven. They've got great 16 ounce iced lattes, so we're getting two of them because it's burning hot outside, and we're gonna walk around. As soon as we stepped out of our apartment this morning, we knew it was going to be hot, so iced coffee was really the only choice. Now that we have our morning coffee, we're gonna take a morning stroll through Lumpini Park, as you know. That's one of our favorite things to do. Morning coffee, stroll through a park. And this happens to be our favorite here in Bangkok and the most famous. You'll see why in a little bit. Here's a hint. It's gorgeous, right? Well, they also have some creatures in here. He's giving us the side eye right now. Some absolute <laughs> monsters in here. Yeah. Lumpini Park's probably the most famous park here in Bangkok, but it's not just its central location that makes it so famous. There's also a host of wildlife. You've got some huge fish and turtles scattered throughout the ponds, of which there are like six or seven. There's a bunch of ponds here. And not to mention they have these water monitors or Komodo dragons, or if you know, let us know in the comments, but there are some monster, monster lizards in here. Holy smoke. I mean, he's at least six feet long, at least. I hope my videography and footage of these water monitors shows just how big these things are. They're absolutely gigantic. I don't think I've ever seen anything that big just roaming around in a park in the middle of a city. beautiful as this park is we have a lot more to show you so we're gonna dive deeper into the heart of Bangkok it was meant to be oh, thank yeah, yeah, you yeah. Good. now we're headed to our next location via tuk-tuk two in one video this is uh very very unusual for us but it's kind of fun this is really fun might not be safe <laughs> glad well, I didn't do my hair this morning yeah I think we survived the worst of the highway I didn't do my hair either can you tell didn't mention this already but it is his birthday this weekend so we are doing all things Trey in this vlog to celebrate him and his birthday and also share it with you all birthday 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 I'm getting old Now we are on Kosan Road. This street's super popular with like backpackers. It's got a bunch of bars, a bunch of shops, a bunch of restaurants, and uh, it really comes alive at nighttime, but we're not gonna make it here at night because we're staying kind of far away from it. But we're gonna check it out right now and probably get some street food. We've been going up and down the street looking for a place with a lot of options, you know, because we like our options. And this place has no shortage of them. I think there's, I mean, if these numbers are correct, there's over 50 things on the menu. Yeah, so as my good friend, and pal Brian would say from Brian and Carrie, it is a too thirsty. So I think we're gonna do uh, two Leos. Mine came and I forgot to take video before I dug in, but I got the Pad Thai with tofu and Trey's about to try one of the spring rolls. See how good it is. They look delicious. Ooh, yeah, they smell really hot. good. Ooh, careful. Yeah. I think of all the things that we've tasted here in Asia since the start of the year, I think spring rolls might be my favorite. All right, time to pay and then explore a little bit more of this area. 
just north of Kosan Road is a street called Rambutri Alley, which is more or less kind of the same, I guess less famous than Kosan Road, but still there's a ton of restaurants, bars, anything that you could want here in Bangkok, it's got it as well as Kosan Road. So we've got a lot of stuff planned for the second half of this video. <laughs> Up on my ankle, my like leg. A little when they, go to, when they get between, when they start. <laughs> <laughs> Just try one. Why would you do this to me? My mojito will cool me down. So I think it's time for us to get cleaned up a little bit and we'll see you in just a couple seconds when it's a few hours down the road. Okay, so now that we're a little bit more cleaned up, let's go check out one of the fancier sides of Bangkok. This is not the biggest mall in all of Bangkok, but it's definitely one of the most fancy. So we wanted to pop over here real fast and kind of show you around in case you're uh, looking for the finer, fancier type of shopping if you're visiting Bangkok from the heat if you don't want to walk around in the heat all the time there's this little market inside of here where you can buy a little trinkets some food and get it some air conditioning so we wanted to take you guys to a more traditional market that you find here in Bangkok but honestly we've already done that with our friends Brandy and Alan over at the YouTube channel called If We Go To. So go check out their video on the Chattachek Market. Instead of doing that again, we decided to check out one of the fanciest malls in the entirety of the city of Bangkok. I'm ready for my shopping spree trip. Ha! Huh. Now guys, we try to pride ourselves on the variety that we show of different places. And this is definitely not a place that we would shop very often. Uh, actually never, ever, uh, very often. ever. <laughs> very often, like once a month maybe. But if you're in Bangkok and you're looking for the finer things in life, then Icon Siam is definitely gonna be the place for you. As I said, it's not the biggest mall that you're gonna find here in the city. That title belongs to Central World over in the Chitlam area that we've actually been spending a lot of time in, I guess because we're staying there. But it's a great mall nonetheless. If you're fancy though, Icon Siam's your place. As nice as it has been to get a little reprieve from the outdoor heat and humidity, we're gonna head back out in it because we have something else that we wanna show you and it's a little more our speed. All right, we're gonna try to catch this boat to Asia T. Let's see if it works out. I don't really know how to do this. It, yes, two to Asia T. Asia T, yeah. So it was 60 baht total for both of us to ride on this ferry down the river to Asia T, which is opens at five. So I think we're gonna get there right on time. I love how we went home to like shower and get cleaned up. We're now pouring sweat again. What do you think? This is so fun. This is really fun. I'm sad that we waited so long to do this. I know. We could not get everywhere this way. Yeah, I didn't know that this was a possibility. This, this is awesome. awesome. Asia Teak. Asia Teak. For passengers alighting here, please stand by at the exit. Oh, I feel like I'm moving. <laughs> so it is currently uh, 4.57 and this place opens at 5, so we timed this perfectly. <laughs> Normally in one of our videos, we always have a fail and this is gonna go down in the fail category. Not that there's anything wrong with Asia Teak or anything like that, it's just that I thought that there was gonna be a lot of street food vendors here. This is definitely more like of a goods focused market. There's a ton of clothes, jackets, purses, leather goods. So behind me is a 60 meter tall Ferris wheel and it's the tallest in Thailand, but it is also 500 baht each to go on. And uh, it's a little out of our budget, but it's nice to know that we know where it is. Tallest in Thailand, right here, Bangkok. <laughs> Just to let you know too, there's also a haunted house over here as well as a little carousel, but the haunted house, I don't think it's gonna happen too because I've already put Hannah through that in, uh, where were we? We are in Romania? You can't describe how sweaty I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm not gonna do that to her again. So we haven't found food yet and we haven't really found anything else 
that we want to participate in here. There's a lot of shops and my luggage is going to be full if I buy one more thing. So instead, we're going to do something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Happy birthday, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get a fish spa. Do they stop after a while? I'm guessing so. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm coming in. You're going to freak out. I'm so excited for I'm you. I'm just straight up not looking forward. Move <laughs> down. Move down, Trey. Oh, my word. You can do it. <laughs> oh, this is horrid. This is horrid. This is a massage. Oh, this is as bad as I thought it was going to be. My skin is like crawling. I really want to do this with my brother because Trey's ticklish on his feet, but my brother is like don't even touch his feet and I feel like he would be so funny although I feel like there might be like a fish outside of the pool he by would, the end of it because he'd be yeah no there would be multiple fish casualties if he put his foot in here so that was fun but I'm still a little bit hungry so we're gonna find some food and Trey's gonna try to take a breath yeah we were gonna we were gonna try to get some food over here but it's a little bit pricey so we're gonna head back toward where we're going to to end the video it's a really cool little spot we'll show you in a bit so we made it into the Nana area of town on soy sukumvit 11. this is one of the main kind of streets in this area so you'll see all kinds of things from you know weed vendors to bars to uh the more seedy things here in bangkok as well as a place called Artisan Craft Burgers. We came here about a week ago and absolutely love the burgers here. And I know this isn't traditional Thai food, but it's my birthday and I'm craving a burger. So here we are. Cheers. Wait, no, you have to be on camera. It's your birthday. Turn. I'm always the cheerser. I don't make the rules. She's the one that takes birthdays for a big deal. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's been so long since I've had a gin and tonic. And it's a good one too. And this place is so good. If you're looking for burgers and you're in Bangkok, Artisan Craft Burgers, this is the place. So as I said, this is a birthday vlog slash Bangkok video. And normally we would wrap it up after food, but tonight we are trying to do a little something special. So we're gonna go grab some mixed drinks at a really cool place. Oh yeah, yeah. Havana Social is a mixed drink kind of place and uh, a speakeasy, so that's what we're gonna do for tonight. It's gonna have really good mixed drinks and uh, talk real softly because you gotta you gotta speak real easy here. We got one of the signature cocktails, which is the Plata o Plomo. <laughs> and then I got the Caribbean Smashed Mojito. <laughs> <laughs> such a basic white girl. I love it. Caribbean smash mojito. I love mojitos. <laughs> it's so good. Like it? Very, very good. Very good. So for a Sunday night, this is supposedly kind of tame. On the weekends, this place is really busy. And this is probably the most extensive like drink list and wine list and rum list and spirit list that we've seen since we've been in Asia, honestly. Apparently there's a live band on Thursdays. I can imagine this place just filling up with like dancing and stuff like that. This is a definitely a really cool vibe. And we're right in the center of Bangkok. Like right outside there are mopeds and taxis and a bunch of crazy things going on. And we're just in here relaxing, enjoying the ambiance. So if anyone gets in our comments saying we're spending too much money, it's a celebration. Just you wait, we're having a night out on the town. Why are you talking like a grandmother from the 30s? <laughs> 